Greetings, fellow learners. Now, before we get into this wonderful world of Gen AI, I have a thought-provoking question for you. What do you think about the hype surrounding Gen AI today? Now, for those who are new to the channel, my name is Jay. I have about five years experience in the industry as a machine learning engineer, and I, as much as any other professional, am super excited about artificial intelligence and its growth in general. However, I'm always a little bit hesitant when I hear companies say that AI is the solution to all of their problems. And I would always encourage any kind of person who's starting a business to think about the problems in isolation and then see if there is room for AI in their solutions rather than what's probably going on more today where I see more of these AI solutions cropping up, people looking at AI solutions and trying to contrive problems that may or may not even be that useful. Sometimes AI is useful, sometimes it's not, especially for these very large language models and Gen AI solutions that are coming up. But that's my opinion. Now, turning this question over to you, what do you think about the hype surrounding Gen AI today? Comment down below and let's have a discussion. Now, this video is going to be divided into three passes. In the first pass, we're gonna talk about what Gen AI is. The second pass, we're gonna see where it fits in the AI, ML, and deep learning space. And the third, we're going to go a little bit more technical and compare Gen AI and try to assess the generative part of it by comparing it to generative models, a term that has existed historically. So with that, let's get started. Let's start with a definition. Gen AI is a field of study that involves developing methods, algorithms, or technologies that learn the patterns and distributions of data to solve problems that require generating new and similar data. So there's a lot of terms here and let's just take each of these pieces, break it down. So first, Gen AI is a field of study now, a field of study is like AI, machine learning, deep learning. These are also all fields of study. Gen AI is one such field of study. Now, Gen AI is a field of study that involves developing methods, algorithms, or technologies. So when we talk about methods, algorithms, or technologies, this could be either like a rule-based system or a trained model. Now, back to our definition. Gen AI is a field of study that involves developing methods, algorithms, or technologies that learn the patterns and distributions of data. So for rule-based systems, they use a bunch of rules to solve problems, and there's really no data that is used to dynamically determine these rules. So rule-based systems are not Gen AI. Now trained models, on the other hand, trained implies that there is data used to drive some decisions. And here are a set of such trained models, but only a subset of them have the ability to learn the distribution of data. And these trained models that understand the distribution of data may be Gen AI solutions, but whether they truly are Gen AI solutions also depends on the problem being solved. So coming back to our definition, Gen AI is a field of study that involves developing methods, algorithms, or technologies that learn the patterns and distributions of data to solve problems that require generating new or similar data. Now, here's a set of problems that can be solved in the AI space, but only a subset of these will generate new and similar data. So depending on the problem being solved, the solution may or may not fall into the realm of Gen AI. So overall, I hope this definition is now more clear. Quiz time. Have you been paying attention? Let's quiz you to find out. What is an example of a problem that is in the field of Gen AI? A, determine the next word in a sentence, given the context. B, determine the price of a house, given information of the house. C, time series forecasting. Or D, Translation of sentences from English to German. Note here that multiple answers may be correct. I'll give you a few seconds to answer this question.
The correct answer is A. But can you tell me why? Give your reasoning in the comments below and let's have a discussion. And if you think I do deserve it at this point, please do consider giving this video a like because it will help me out a lot. That's going to do it for quiz one and pass one of this explanation, but keep paying attention because I will be back to quiz you. So now that we've defined Gen AI, how does Gen AI relate to artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning? So here's a Venn diagram to show that relationship. The fields here are represented with rectangles. And here is where Gen AI falls. Gen AI is a subset of the machine learning field, but Gen AI also crosses over into the deep learning field. So why exactly is this the case? Well, for a solution to fall in artificial intelligence, we can use any method, algorithm, or technology to solve problems. Now for a solution to fall in machine learning, we specifically use trained models to solve problems. So it's a subset of all the methods. But for a solution to fall in deep learning, we use trained neural network models specifically to solve problems. Now, from the definition of Gen AI in our first pass, we also know that uh, the Gen AI method and technology has to be some trained model. And hence, it is a subset of the machine learning field. Now, also from our definition of Gen AI, the problem solved also needs to be one that generates new and similar data. And so a neural network that does language modeling would be a part of the Gen AI field, but a neural network that classifies an image as a cat or a dog is not a part of the Gen AI field. And hence, Gen AI can cross over the deep learning field. And so I hope this diagram now makes sense of why it is the case. And so a neural network language model like ChatGPT falls squarely in Gen AI. It is a trained model, as well as the problem being solved, which is language modeling, will generate new similar text data. Quiz time. It's that time of video again. Have you been paying attention? Let's quiz you to find out. Which of the following falls under Gen AI? A, a hidden Markov model to recognize speech from text. B, a neural network to translate from English to German. C, a neural network to forecast the weather temperatures for the next 10 days. Or D, a hidden Markov model to generate a word given context. Note that multiple answers here may be correct. I'll give you a few seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is D, but can you tell me why? Give your reasoning in the comments below and let's have a discussion. And that's going to do it for quiz time and pass two of this explanation, but keep paying attention because I'll be back to quiz you. Now this term generative has some precedence before Gen AI became popular, and it's used in the context of generative models. So what's the relationship between Gen AI and generative models and what are generative models? So let's kind of rewrite our definition of a generative AI using generative models. Generative AI is a field of study that uses generative models to solve problems that specifically require the generation of new data. So generative models, what's that? There are two classes of machine learning models. We have discriminative models and generative models. Discriminative models learn to produce specific outputs based on some given data. Generative models learn to generate new data from a data set. So an example discriminative model is a model that's trained on animal images that can classify an input animal image as either being a cat or not cat. And an example of a generative model is a model that's trained on animal images and can create new animal images. Now, mathematically, discriminative models learn the conditional probability distribution P of Y given X. So X is your animal image and Y is the classification of it being a cat or not a cat. 
Now, generative models learn the joint probability distribution and can derive the marginal distribution, PFX, to generate new data. And if you recall from our very first pass of a definition, that these trained models will learn the distribution of data. And mathematically, they learn this PFX, the distribution of X, which is our data. Now, examples of discriminative models include classification and regression tree models, CART models, linear regression, and logistic regression. Examples of generative models include GANs, generative adversarial networks, VAEs, which are variational autoencoders, hidden Markov models, and Gaussian mixture models, along with other flavors of neural networks. But as we mentioned before, not all of these generative models are used in Gen AI. It also depends on the problem that we are trying to solve. And they should specifically be solving problems that generate new and similar data to be a part of Gen AI. Quiz time. Ooh, this is going to be a fun one. What is the relationship between generative models and Gen AI? Generative models that solve problems that analyze data patterns are used in Gen AI. B. All generative models are used in Gen AI. C. Generative models that solve problems that produce new data are used in Gen AI. Or D. Gen AI can make use of generative models and sometimes discriminative models too. Note that multiple options may be correct. I'll give you a few seconds to answer this question. The correct option is C, but can you tell me why? Give your reasons in the comments down below and let's have a discussion. And if you do think I do deserve it at this point, please do consider giving this video a like because it will help me out a lot. And that's going to do it for quiz time and pass three of this video. But before we go, let's generate a summary. So in this video, we started with a broad definition of Gen AI. It is a field of study that involves developing methods, algorithms, or technologies that learn the patterns and distributions of data to solve problems that require generating new similar data. We also saw that Gen AI solutions fall under the subset of machine learning solutions and cross over deep learning solutions. We then got more insight of the generative part of Gen AI relating to generative models. And we also redefined Gen AI in terms of generative models. So generative AI is a field of study that uses generative models to solve problems that specifically require the generation of new data. And that's all that we have for today. For more AI fun, you can click on this fun video right over here. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video and do think I do deserve it, please do consider giving this video a like. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.